Is Microsoft Access a valuable skill in today's job market? Hi, folks. This is Richard Ross with AccessLearningZone.com, and the answer to that question is definitely a resounding yes. Not only are there no shortage of employers looking for people with access on their resume, but there is a ton of work to be found as either a freelancer or a consultant with Access Database skills. First of all, yes, Microsoft Access is very much used in today's business environment. Granted, you will find Access being used more in small and mid-sized companies. However, there are over 31 million small businesses that make up more than 99% of all businesses in the United States, and they account for 44% of all U.S. economic activity. So when people say, oh, Access is only used in small businesses, yeah, great, wonderful. There's tons of them and tons of work. Many small businesses have custom databases built for them using Microsoft Access. I know I've built hundreds of them myself during my developer days. Even large businesses will have Access databases used throughout the organization to interface with big back-end systems like SQL Server. Access is everywhere. In addition to work as an Access developer, there are also tons of companies looking for Access training, too. I get emails every week asking if I offer live training for Access. I used to, and I had no shortage of work. I only stopped doing it because I prefer to spend my time making videos for you nice people, because I care about you. You're like family. Okay, let's talk about actual jobs. In 2020, ZipRecruiter indicated that database management skills, including Microsoft Access, were in demand. I did a search on Indeed.com, Dice.com, and LinkedIn Jobs, and I had no problems finding lots of employers looking for Microsoft Access as one of their required skills. The LinkedIn results had over 31,000 Access jobs listed. Payscale.com lists the average base salary for a Microsoft Access developer as $63,000 per year. That's about $30 an hour, which isn't bad. Of course, this will change based on your level of experience and where you're located. Now, the real opportunities are for those who are interested in freelancing or starting a consulting business. I spent several years as a consultant building databases for small businesses before I got involved with training. I had no shortage of work. And this was back in the 90s, before the days of social media. Now it's easy to find people looking for help with access. I even created a forum on my website to match up developers with people looking for help with access. I call it the Access Developer Network. I've checked out a couple of the sites like Freelancer.com, Upwork, and Fiverr.com. Honestly, I've never gotten any work from them. I set up sample accounts on them, but the rate that I posted is a lot higher than what other people on those sites charge, so I'm not surprised that I didn't get any bites. But I've heard from some of my students that have told me they were able to get some decent work from a few of these sites. One of the problems with freelancing sites for U.S. developers is that we're competing with people in countries that have much lower cost of living. There are developers that literally charge $5 an hour. So unless you can convince the prospective client why you're worth so much more, you'll have a difficult go of it. Of course, I always say, someone's always cheaper. I've got a whole page dedicated to this. It's called Advice for Consultants. It's from my 30 years in the business. And I've got a video coming out on this soon. But trust me, there's no shortage of consulting work. So what do you need to hang your shingle and become an Access developer? Well, you should be proficient with Access, of course, on a developer level and have a strong understanding of VBA. I would suggest taking a look at my Access class outlines, especially the expert and developer classes, and make sure you know most of the material that I cover in those lessons. You should be well-versed in the SQL language as it pertains to Access. Again, Take a look at the outlines for my SQL seminars and make sure you know most of that as well. You don't necessarily need to know SQL Server, just the SQL language. SQL Server is good if you want to upsize someone into a bigger database, but you can build pretty good databases just with Access alone. You'll need to know how to build databases with proper relational structure and be able to deploy them securely in multi-user environments. See my security seminar for details on this. Very important is you must be able to teach people how to use the database you build. So communication skills and a mastery of the English language are important, or of course, whatever language is prevalent in your country. 
This is something, unfortunately, that comes with experience. The more you interact with customers, the better you'll get. I'd say being a consultant is about 60% technical skills and 40% personal skills. Now, after you master Microsoft Access alone, there are a dozen ways you can expand your skills. You can learn SQL Server to be able to deploy your Access database to larger organizations or even on the Internet. You can learn ASP, Active Server Pages, or ASP.NET, to develop web-based applications around your database. At least once a week, I get asked a question like, is Microsoft Access going away? I hear it's being phased out, or is it being discontinued? Of course not. The answer to all these questions is a resounding no. I got a whole video explaining that, so go watch that video. I'll put a link down below you can click on. Ignore the naysayers. When I was doing research for this video, I came across another YouTuber who called Access Microsoft's, quote, weird little cheesy database for dummies app. Now, I've been using and teaching Access for almost 30 years. I've built Access solutions with and without SQL Server for hundreds of clients in my developer days, and I've literally taught hundreds of thousands of people how to build with Access since starting my YouTube channel in 2006, and I started my business in 2002. The people who put Microsoft Access down are usually the ones who don't truly understand and appreciate the power and flexibility of this cheesy little app. Customer acquisition firm in Lyft lists over 98,000 companies that use Microsoft Access. It has over 10% of the overall database management market share. Quite simply, Access is the best database platform available for rapid development, especially for small and mid-sized companies. But when you outgrow that, Access is still a fantastic front end for more powerful back-end databases like SQL Server. And of course, from there, you'll have no problems getting your data on the web. I've had hundreds of my students thank me for teaching them the skills they need to either start their own businesses providing Access Consulting or getting a well-paying job in a company using Access. So yes, my friends, learn Access, especially if it's your first experience with building databases. So I hope this video helped to show you that Microsoft Access is definitely a skill that will help you either find a job, start a new career as a freelance developer, or even start your own business as an Access consultant or trainer. The possibilities are endless. Microsoft Access is definitely in demand. Thanks for watching. Again, I'm Richard Ross with Access Learning Zone. Keep learning.